Hey there, it's Villainous Foundry here with another Monk's Active Tiles trigger tutorial after much request at my latest video. This one is a lot simpler than my How to Summon Demons tutorial, only requiring a total of 5 actions played again and again in a certain order. But before I dive into that, I want to go over the reason why I created the scene that I did in the way I did. The first reasoning is I've been listening to the Sentai World soundtrack at work, specifically the Nowhere King, and I knew that I wanted to use it in a classic horror setting. The second was that I wanted to improve my knowledge of Monk's Active Tile trigger. I did this by using more than one tile to trigger the whole sequence of events. This had the benefit of being able to work on certain parts without having to go through the previous 20 seconds every time I wanted to change something. And lastly, I wanted to tell a story with the scene, because that is what DMs want to do. Without further ado, let's start. So like any other virtual DM, I googled myself a map. I knew I wanted a map set in the city streets, and after a couple of minutes, I found one I liked. I quickly walled it with terrain walls and it was good to go. Before leaving Google and diving head first into Foundry, I needed one last thing. A quick trip to YouTube Converter, I got my hands on the song. Now comes the fun part. I knew I wanted the first tile to be triggered by clicking it, and to set that is as simple as clicking a drop down. Next step was getting the token to walk. I did this by clicking add at the bottom, selecting move, selecting the token as the target, and then selecting the coordinates. Because I wanted him to walk there, I did this action for each of the squares leading up to a stopping point. Make sure the last one has the moving causes tiles to trigger checked. Okay, good to go. Let's try it out. Okay, that's not how it's supposed to go. The reason why that happened is because there is no delay between the actions. So let's add a small delay and see how that works. There, that's better. Let's try it again now. Okay, on to the next tile. I put another delay of a second to allow the full completion of the last tile before adding a play sound action. Adding a sound clip of a bottle breaking and then an additional chat action. Then I add a play playlist action, playing our spooky song another delay, and then another play sound action. This time, the sound is of whooshing air. I added another delay, then a show slash hide action set to toggle on our monster. Then I add a couple move actions. This time the delay is set faster than before to get that perfect, wait, what was that reaction? Then it's just repeating these again and again, either decreasing or increasing the delay, adding new sounds, or making new messages. Monk's active tile triggers is dead simple to use, but hard to master. The only limit is your imagination. This scene here probably took me around 4 hours to set up, mainly due to mistakes, and getting the timing down perfectly. Uh, before I close out, I want to say thank you guys so much for the support. It means a lot. The growth of this channel is unimaginable, and I hope to continue delivering good content.